St. Petersburg meters are having a rough go around lately, first from vandals and now from residents upset with the city's new parking changes. News Channel 8's Marco Villarreal joins us now live from the Universal Village area of St. Pete. Marco. Well, good evening. If you are in this area on late on weeknights and on weekends, you're going to have to remember to feed the meter. This is something the city says will make all these meters more consistent throughout the downtown area, but the changes are not very popular. Downtown St. Pete is quickly attracting residents and visitors. I think it's really beautiful. They have amazing restaurants here and just, you know, a place to hang out. On the weekends and late on weeknights, the Universal Village area continues to see growth that is expanding onto street parking and getting a lot of attention. And it's been in the news a lot. We had some parking vandals just arrested. So parking kind of at the forefront right now. Police arrested Nicholas Winholtz and Kirsten Lyon, saying they sprayed foam sealant into nearly 75 parking meters. Winholtz is still locked up, but Lyons has since bonded out. Eight on your side went looking for answers as to why the attack to dozens of meters. Hi, Kirsten. No, this is Marco. Absolutely not. While residents may not agree with their methods, they don't like the new changes. Free parking on weekends gone, as the meters require payment seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. The results of a 2016 parking study that originally called for paid parking until midnight. Sure, do citizens like coming downtown and paying a lot of paying money to park downtown? You know, not everybody's going to like that. What do you? Do? I'd like it to be gone when season's over. So in the summer, when the locals are here, maybe get rid of it for the weekends. And because these changes are new, if you happen to park in front of one of the meters, for example, on the weekend, and you get a ticket, don't worry. It's just a warning for the month of November. But come December 1st, any time after that, you will be fine. Jen? Uh, okay, I want to circle back to something you mentioned. You said the parking study recommending the meters run until midnight. Is that still a possibility? Very much so. The city tells me right now they're just trying to make these changes gradual along with this and adding more parking spots throughout the downtown area. But yeah, having to pay for parking up until midnight on these meters could come here in the future. And remembering to pay up until midnight. That'll yeah. be interesting. Marco Villarreal, live in St. Petersburg. Thank you.